celebrate the gathering of so many people, and we appreciate that our breakfast has grown, we're also aware of those who are no longer with us. And we're going to take a few minutes now to remember two of those people. Longtime union member Marty Beal and Reverend Art Lloyd. Both men were regular attendees of this breakfast, and both sat with us last year. Let me start with Reverend Art Lloyd. Art was an involved supporter of ICWJ long before my tenure. At first I was intimidated. He was a philanthropist, an older Episcopal priest who had far more experience in the faith-based um, social justice work than I did. But I quickly learned that he was a kind and gentle and funny man who, worked, who would support me in my work. One of my fondest memories was when he asked if he could come attend a service at Beth Israel Center, the conservative Jewish congregation, on the morning I was supposed to give the sermon. I told him that he didn't have to get there right at the beginning of the service, but he did. He was one of the first people there. And he sat in the back of the sanctuary for a three-hour service, mostly in Hebrew. And he shined a glowing smile at me when I finished my sermon. That was our, a quiet presence that gave courage, gave me courage to speak in the religious community even when it was hard. In addition to being a scholar donor to the coalition, he showed interest in the writing and work of the coalition. He himself was a man of faith dedicated to people on the margins and to pursuing social and economic justice. He helped found the Episcopal Network for Economic Justice. To honor his memory, we've dedicated a new collection of reflections on holidays and worker justice to art. You'll find a copy of that newly produced book on your table, and um, we invite you to take those, and there's also, we didn't have room for all of them on the table, but there's a table upstairs on your way out where there should be a copy for almost everyone. <laughs> and if not, there's order for, for more. But, um, and we're honored to have Art's family and members of his church, St. Dunstan's Episcopal Church, with us this morning to celebrate this breakfast and to remember him. And now Marty Beal. Marty Beal was a leader and an advocate worker for over four decades. He served for 30 years as the executive director of the Wisconsin State Employees Union, American Federation of State, Municipal, and County Employees, Council 24. He died just three months after retiring in June. I experienced a part of Marty that I suspect not everyone did. Marty Beal was a big man, much bigger than I am, yet he was always very deferential to me as a member of the clergy. Something that's not always so common in progressive Madison, and not something I normally ask for or seek out. He always just called me rabbi, and kindly greeted me when he saw me, whether at a rally or a meeting at the Labor Temple. I never spoke to him about his religious backgrounds or beliefs, but always felt there was a spirituality stirring inside the gruff man behind the beard. And I just learned this morning from his sister that actually he was on the path to becoming um, a Catholic priest. So that intuition was, was there. Marty was someone who walked his talk. He cared deeply about working people. I remember just last year, last December, a year um, 2014, when he was outside of McDonald's standing on a very frigid day with fast food workers who were on strike for the National Day of Action as part of the Fight for 15 movement. He stood in the back and he stood in solidarity. He was also a supporter of the coalition. I remember a couple years ago we received a large sponsorship from a union, a local union, and I called to thank them, somewhat surprised and grateful, and they said, oh, Marty Beal told us that we needed to give to you. <laughs> he was one of our supporters who, without fanfare, made sure that we could continue to pursue our mission. He wrote one of his first personal checks to the coalition after his retirement, just weeks before he passed away. I contacted him to thank him and wished him well in his retirement. He told me about wanting to spend more time with his grandbaby. I made a mental note to give him a few months to settle into retirement and then call him to join our board or get more involved in the coalition. 
But he died before that could happen. So as we continue to fight for worker justice as a coalition, we do so with Marty's memory in mind, knowing that he did not live to see the workers' rights restored in Wisconsin. They will be restored. And we are honored to have a whole table of Marty Beale's family here. And we invite you, we honor him with a slideshow that sort of Hi, highlights my name is Mary Bell. Um, I am a colleague of Marty's. And when I got the news that um, Marty had died, I was an ocean away. <clears throat> so it wasn't part of the memorials and the grieving, but in my faith tradition, in my labor tradition, and um, in my family tradition, we sing people into this world and we sing them into the next. And I'd like to share this with you, which I sang to the Irish Hills for Marty. Tell about the ones who walked on the line, the ones who stood out from the crowd, who lifted their heads, who lifted their eyes, who lifted their voice clear and loud. Sing me one more, for I'm not tired yet. Don't leave a note out, that's true. Tell me again, I don't want to forget. Sing me what they sang to you. Sing so I'll know what to do. Tell about the ones who stood and said no when everyone else answered yes. Who always played fair but demanded their share when everyone settled for less. <laughs> Sing me one more, for I'm not tired yet. Don't leave a note out, that's true. Tell me again, I don't want to forget. Sing me what they sang to you. Sing so I'll know what to do. Joe Hill, Mother Jones, Cesar Chavez, John L., and millions that we don't know by name. To those in our past, to those still standing fast, and those come to carry the flame. Oh, sing me one more, for I'm not tired yet. And don't leave a note out, that's true. Tell me again, I don't want to forget. Sing me what they sang to you. Sing so we'll know what to do. always be for a blessing and may their memories live on in the work of our work for worker justice 